Hello, I'm Sokan, and welcome back to the second channel, Jetpunk Video. So a lot of people seem to be liking the Jetpunk quiz style videos, and one of the things that I really like about the website is that it is like geography with kind of a ranking system, there's a level up system that goes into place, and that's something I just enjoy inherently as a gamer, but one of the things that I also really like is that there is a badge system. So these are like achievements, and I assume they'd be for like staying on the site for a certain amount of time, but no, they're actually based on completing various quizzes, and there's one called the German uh, badge for completing five separate Germany quizzes. Do you know the countries bordering Germany? Do you know the biggest cities in Germany? Do you know this many German words, etc, etc, and I feel like that's a fun kind of theme for something, so let's see how well I know Germany, how well do you know Germany, let's find out in today's video, because I know all of the countries bordering Germany, it's easy for me, I could do it off the top of my head, it's very very simple, so I'll go like, I guess, clockwise or counterclockwise, I guess we'll go counterclockwise, Denmark to Poland, to etc, and uh, we might make a single mistake, but with three minutes it's so easy, so like Czechia, but it might want the Czech Republic, but it's fine, uh, then after Czechia, it's, <laughs> see I acted too confident, that's Austria, then it's Switzerland, or Swayze, and then it's France, and then it's Luxembourg, and then it's Belgium, and then uh, the Netherlands, I believe. And then it's as simple as that. Nice and easy. Look at that. Nailed the quiz in literally, what is that, <laughs> 26 seconds? And that was with a lot of, like, you know, stuff in there. A lot of people complain, like, you talk too much about stuff in between quizzes. So everyone got all of the countries with Czech Republic and uh, Luxembourg being quite rare, but that's quite easy. Then we move on to the second quiz here, because we've nailed part one. The biggest is in Germany. Again, this is quite easy. In without the map, it's quite easy to do because it's like, okay, Berlin is usually considered the biggest, then it's Hamburg, often has come second, uh, with about half the population in the metropolitan area at the very least. Then, uh, you know, Frankfurt, Munich, and uh, Cologne, that depending on how you measure it, you know, Cologne and Frankfurt, uh, sorry, Cologne and uh, Munich can uh, come up one one other. Uh, so Cologne and then Munich. That sentence like just died as it came out of my mouth. You ever do that where you're just like, wait a minute, I'm halfway for a sentence and it's just, it's gone missing. Then it's Frankfurt. And then after the big five, it gets a little trickier, but it's still easy enough to be like, well, Stuttgart's a huge city. Where is it? It's six. Oh, <laughs> go me. And then you can also be like, well, I mean, in the Cologne area, there's so many big cities that aren't part of it. Wow, we got seven there too. And then it's like Essen's also on there, which is like eight. And then Wuppertal probably isn't in the biggest, but it, okay, yeah, it is apparently. And uh, yeah, you can kind of see how like, oh yeah, if you just imagine that the map things are easy. Arkham probably isn't on the list. I, I like Arkham a lot, one of my favorite cities. Um, so then we're gonna have to go stuff like Bremen, has a whole state dedicated to it. Well, I mean, it's a city state, it's confusing. Oh, the other city states would be a good idea. So there's Berlin, there's Bremen, and uh, <laughs> the other one escapes me right now. So Hanover has to be on the list somewhere. Nuremberg has to be on the list because it was on the other one. And uh, I guess sometimes Karlsruhe might count. Again, most people would say it doesn't. Again, and the other quiz <laughs> insists that it does, but it really shouldn't. Uh, and now we've got 12 of the 15 that we need. And ideally we should go for all 20. So whatever big cities are there in Germany. Uh, once, again, once you go past the big 10, it's like, ooh, or the big five, it's a bit trickier. Um, so there's Baden-Baden, I want to say it's called. Baden-Baden. That's not a city, it's a state maybe. Baden-Baden? No, that's not big enough, I guess. Um, so yeah, I guess we're gonna have to focus on that like metropolitan area with like Cologne, Dusseldorf, Essen, uh, Dortmund is a big city, definitely makes the list. Oh, we, we filled in a gap that we were missing. Um, and then after we, after we have Hanover and Nuremberg, we gotta pick the other weird cities. Like there's Leipzig, which I wanna say has a racetrack. Oh, maybe I spelled that wrong there. Leipzig, Leipzig. I, I, apparently it's not on the list. Um, there's a second city in Bavaria, Augsburg, which is probably uh, just off the list, apparently. Or maybe it's Augsburg, like, Berg. I'm not sure. The, the Berg, Berg thing is confusing, because, I mean, Berg is also the word, German word for mountain. We need two more cities to get this done, but I want to get all of them, too, so... Uh, maybe Potsdam is separate to Berlin? No. Uh, we got Yeah, we got to start thinking, like, what's separated in there? Another big city in East Germany, because we've only got one so far. Um, Dresden counts sometimes. Yep, it's, <laughs> there we go, filled another gap. So 560,000 people, can't be Stuttgart. Um, I guess like down there, Southwest Germany, uh, there's gonna be a big city. Freiburg? No, it's not gonna be big enough. I'll try it, but it's not big enough. Uh, big city, <sighs> nah, I, I don't actually know. I, I, I think, I, I think 14 might stump me here. I think this whole quiz, do I know Germany well enough, is kind of lost because we get the first 10, 11, and then there's a gap between Dresden and Hanover. So we've got a picture of like big-ish cities in Germany, like clearly big enough. Uh, I guess I'll go by some airports because I know airports quite well. Um, so if it's not one of those, then, and it's not Bremen or Bremenhaven. Ah, uh, oh, come on, I just need one more. Like I, I wish, I, I feel like I should be able to get all six, but, ooh, okay. Big city in Germany, Brandenburg, right? Uh, that's famous for the, oh no, or Berg. No, Brandenburg is not on the list. So, big city, Eastern Germany. 
Um, I think it might just be Dresden and Berlin, honestly. So then we're talking like near Frankfurt. There is um, uh, Mainz. No, Mainz isn't a city, big enough city. Uh, near F oh um, Saarbrücken. They counted it on a previous one, but they don't count it here. Ah, oh, 10 seconds. Coming in clutch. Uh, Basel's not German. Uh, it's gonna be like near one of the borders somewhere. Right, which which of the cities did I miss? Come on, game. Lace pig, no! Okay, one sec. Can we, I get that, right? I totally get that. Can we all just... <laughs> we all agree I should have that one. Uh, Duisburg's the other one I should have gone, and Bielefeld and Bonn. I wouldn't have assumed Bonn was in the top, like, 50, but apparently it is. Uh, I'm, I think I deserve that one. Can we just quickly give me that? <laughs> can, we, can we just re- like, I, I said it, I just spelt it so horrifically wrong. <laughs> but I knew the city, so we got this one correct. I guess we'll have to just quickly redo it, so let's uh, retake the quiz. Who knows how it will go this time. Uh, Berlin. So let's try and do it in order, I guess. Berlin, uh, Hamburg, followed by Munich, Cologne, and then Frankfurt. I think it was Stuttgart afterwards, and then it's Dusseldorf. And then I think it was, oh no, it went straight, it didn't go from Dusseldorf to Essen. There was another city in there. Well, you know, let's just type it anyway. And then Duisburg, and then Leipzig. It's Leip, <laughs> see this is, this is the important thing about like, even if you know a city, it's important to know it correctly, because I could say that to someone on the street and they'd be like, I don't know a lace pig, I know a Leipzig. Very different to us Germans. So, you know, it's kind of important to get that. And then uh, Bremen. It's funny, like, on the second go-round, it's like, oh, I don't even know. Uh, Bielfield was one of them. Bielfield. <laughs> I don't know. See, exactly, you gotta, like, this is my point, like, you need to say it or you can't get points for it on an online quiz. And that's what really matters, as we've learned. So, uh, Bon was on there. Uh, Cologne was on there. Uh, <laughs> I just literally listed them, but for some reason it's, like, hard to get it, just off the top of my head. So, Hanover, Nuremberg, Nuremberg. And then Dresden. We're just gonna get 15 just so we can match our previous uh, thing. And there we go. Stop the quiz. Oh, that's not right. Give up. Does that still count? I got 15, whatever. It's all good. So as you can see, we got 15. We missed out Dortmund the second time. But yeah, uh, Duisburg is a really rare one. The rarest one that I actually got last time was Wuppertal. Oh, so yeah, last time I got Wuppertal and it was actually the rarest guess of the entire quiz. So, you know, I might not know all 20 of the biggest German cities, but I know the rarest of them. So that's my tick earned right there. Next up, we got the states of Germany. So it's, again, like, this one's easy, I think. Uh, Hamburg is city, city state. Um, so is Bremen. So is Berlin. Uh, the state around Berlin is called Brandenburg. Brandenburg. <laughs> Important to know how to say things. Uh, the north state is called Schwedschwitz Holstein. I, like, I don't know how you, I can vaguely say it. Schwedschwitz, no, I can't say it. I can picture the word, vaguely. Schwedschwitz Holstein. Okay, how about I just type, like, Holstein? Hey, Schleswig. And that's why it's important to not just generalize. Um, then we got the city-state of Frankfurt is Hesse. Very historical. We got Bayern. For Bavaria, the biggest one by land area. It's huge. We got Baden-Baden. Uh, oh, or just Baden. We'll do it. Oh, yeah. Baden-Württemberg, it's called these days. Um, we got the Saarbrücken, which is the... Again, the weird independent one. It's the smallest non-city state state, and it's like... Oh, it's not the Saarbrücken. The Sa Saarland, I think it's called, yeah. Uh, then the one next to Saarland. Um, all of these ones have Rhine in the name, so it's like the Rhine mine... The, no, that's the, that's the name of the transport network. Uh... It's called the Rhine, Rhineland, Rhineland part. So there's there's only two Rhinelands. There's the Rhine, there's the Rhineland Palatian, and then there's the Rhineland Main or something. So if I type Rhineland again, will it give me another one? Central Main. I don't know what it's called, but the one around, like the Rhine area, the Rhine Ruhr, Rhine Ruhr. Uh, no, that's the name of the <laughs> metropolitan. So I, I don't get that one. That's fine. Uh, then we got the East German states, which are a lot harder to remember off the top of my head. It's funny, the moment we go into this quiz, it's like, oh, I've lost all my things. So Saxony is definitely one. Um, where, oh, that was one of the East German states. I thought that was Saxony for no good reason, so. Which goes to show my German geography is not as good as I assumed. I thought I could name all 16, but here I am, uh, struggling. Uh, so we named the biggest ones, and then uh, around Bremen is, like, they surround Bremen. It's in, it's in West Germany, so they formed it after World War II. Uh, it's in the British occupation zone, I want to say. Uh, so that tells me... 
Not very much. Uh, oh. <laughs> so, okay, uh, States of Germany. I made a whole video about them. Like, I, I could name them eventually. It's just on the spot, being, with like this timer beating at me. It's like, no, I just need one more. Um, maybe this is it. Like, you just choke when you, when you know you need the knowledge. Like, what, what's the last one? I don't know. So anyway, so next to, next to Hessen, what is next to Hessen? Uh, or just Hesse, I think it's called. I, I don't actually know. What's, what's north? This one right here. You know, I, I know the name. It's the Rhine, Rhineland, uh, ah, uh, there's just, there's just too many states of Rhine in the name. It's a problem. <laughs> it's robbing me of this, this, uh, correct answer. So, 16 federal states in Germany. I like, Petra listed them in order of, like, I don't know, usefulness. Uh, so, Brandenburg, we got Saxony. Uh, we got another Saxony, maybe? Yeah, I want to say there's a second Saxony. Then there's, um, there's one that's just not very well known. Let, let's try Saxony again, see what happens. Our heart. I don't know, I, I just feel like there's a second Saxony. Uh, a North Saxony. <laughs> Saxony Nord. No, there's no, there's no Nord and Souths in any of these states. So we, we got a few seconds to do this one. Come on, Toy Cat. How well do I know Germany? Not well enough to get these five states off the top of my head. Okay. So, it's... I can't name anything in this corner of Germany. Like, I'm just trying to link it all together. Um, can I name a big city? Okay, Hanover's there, so... What state is Hanover in? Hanover is in... Darn it! How did I miss... How did I just... <laughs> I'm one shot. Uh, Mecklenburg... Von... Okay, so that's the one... That's like, screw getting that. No, there was a lower Saxony and a Saxony unhalt. Can I just say again? I literally, <laughs> literally. So I also got Rhine, like, I think I was trying to say Westphalia at one point, but it's North Rhine. Uh, Mecklenburg von, Pol I can't say that. Uh, I, like, this, this is evil. Like, Mecklenburg von <laughs> Um Feringia was one I actually could have gotten eventually. I wouldn't have assumed it was there though. I. Like, I thought that was Fringia, maybe. There's two more Saxonies. There's Lower Saxony. I was like, oh, yeah, there's definitely prefix Saxony and Saxony prefix. But I just couldn't pitch them. And then also this one. So, I mean, do I get points for this? I guess you can decide for yourself. But for now, let's go see if we can do the rest of the quizzes. Because if we can't, then what's the point? Do I know these cities in Germany? So the capital of Germany. Oh, this is such a hard one. It's it's screwed. We're done. It's Berlin. Uh, capital of West Germany, uh, Bonn. Again, it's a, it's not a very big city. It's famous for a few different things, but not all of them. I'm assuming Cologne had the world tallest building. Yep. Home to Porsche, Porsche and Mercedes. Interestingly enough, despite being home to Porsche and Mercedes, they've got a green government right now, I want to say. Or at the very least, it's like a green-red coalition, the Jamaica thing. Um, capital of Varia. I don't think it's Munich, but apparently it is. Uh, oldest university has to be Hanover, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, well, okay, we got another question. So, Oldest University, um, oh, I don't, I don't know this one. Uh, if it's not Hanover, I don't know a H city. Okay, so Germany's Oldest University. There's got to be a university people go to. Heidelberg. Heidelberg. Hey! So, financial capital of Germany is Frankfurt. City doesn't exist. Bielefeld. 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 Yeah, I reckon it's Bielefeld. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I I said that you need to learn how to get it earlier, and I was like, it'll never come up again. It's fine. It's like Nazi rallies and tribunals. I mean, I think that's a bit of a simplification, maybe. A bit of, I mean, a bit of a like that. Not that's not the correct thing to say it's for. It's like that's where the Nazis were put on trial, which is a good thing. Um, largest city on the Baltic Sea. Um, there's there's some fun to be had here, and be like, you know, what? this is Danzig. Am I right? Yeah. This that's I don't know why they're starting with a K. Um, Kiel, I guess it would be. Yep, with the uh, ferry, with the train on it. Featured in a recent video. Uh, controversially firebombed by the UK in 1945. Oh, I want to use this opportunity to mention, in a, in the city's video, I said Dresden was wrongfully bombed. Uh, like, uh, and I didn't even say that. I said it was bombed when they didn't even really need to. And um, a lot of people took offense to that. So just real quick, uh, if you look it up, even at the time, the British were like, ooh, did we need to do that? Kind of not. Um, I'm not saying, like, a lot of people say it's like a Nazi justification. It's like, no, both sides were bad and the Nazis were worse by a lot. But it's a reminder that both sides are bad. Um, big free al allied leaders met here. That's the Potsdam Conference of 1945. Um, back when there was a big free as opposed to a big two as opposed to right now the big one. Uh, westernmost city in Germany and residents of Charlemagne, Aachen. There we go. 
Go, I, I knew having a favorite city would come up strong. Ninth largest city in Germany, home to Krupp. This is why you should pay attention to the... I guess it's Essen then, right? Easy. Uh, J.S. Bach died in this city. Lübeck? That might not be a German city. Um, yet, yeah, no, I, I don't know what it is then. Uh, the town gave its name to a state in eastern Germany. It's either Berlin or Brandenburg, but I guess it's going to be Brandenburg. Uh, then the second letter of the city is U. Uh, Dusseldorf. And then the Karls Benz invented the automobile while working in the city at the intersection of the Rhine and Neckar. Cities that start with an M include Münster. Is that, that might be an Irish city actually. It might also be an Irish city and a German city. Okay, so I, I know, I actually do know this one. There's a famous, there's something famous about this place. Cause I, I know Karl Benz, if you look him up, he's a, he's got a really bizarre mustache, but we've got 43 seconds. So we've got a H, an L, and a M. So big city starts with an L. <laughs> Leechfield. I don't know why that's coming up. Like, I'm gonna go for it. I don't know even know. That's. I think that's a city in the UK anyway. Um, so M city. I can get it with enough time. It's not Munich. That's already come up. Uh, no, I don't know it. I don't. <laughs> I'm one off again. What is it with these darn quizzes and getting me to? Okay, so H. It's not Hanover, it's free and Hanseatic. Hanseatic, uh, 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 okay, 17. You know, we have showed that I am not worthy enough for the German badge. I beat 76.9% of test takers, and I got Bielefeld. Uh, there's a famous Tom Scott video on it, it's a fun thing. Mannheim, no! And also Hamburg? Oh, I just assumed it would have come up earlier. Of course, oh, I, what? That's not on a river? I mean, it is on a river. But it's not famous for... <laughs> I knew Hamburg! Okay, again, I choked because of a quiz. And then, late Leipzig. You know, it's here, it's here again to, to strike again. I, I knew these cities, but not well enough, apparently. So we got one under on both these. Let's see if we can at least get the random German words and redeem myself, my worthiness. If I can't do this, I don't deserve the badge. I'm not going to redo the other quizzes. Let's go. Nine? No. Kind is... It's, I think it's child, right? Yeah. Uh, Sprechen, speaking. Uh, Danke, thank you. Uber, over. That's why Uber, the app, makes sense. You're going over there. Uh, Zeit is newspaper? Reading, I guess. Zeit. The, 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 the famous German uh, news website is called like, the Zeitung. Uh, it's definitely C. Read. Ah, uh, Zeit. The Zeitgeist, too, is another. So... Thing. Okay, Frau is woman. Zwei is two. Good is good. Morgan's morning. Worst is sausage. <laughs> uh, blitz is bombing, but no, we call it, we call the bombing the blitz. I guess we'll go bombing. Fast, I guess it'd have to be. Like the root. One of the reindeer is called like blitz. Not blitzkrieg, but blitz and dasher. I don't even know. Blitz. It's something fast, like speedy. Quick. Okay, the Geist, I'll look Zeitgeist. Man, if I just knew these two words, I'd understand the origin of the word Zeitgeist, but I don't. Volk is um, the people. Uh, that's the Volkswagen is the people wagon, the people car, like for the people. Uh, made in Nazi era Germany, fun fact. Uh, Nacht is night, night of the undead, Nacht der Untoten. Hund is dog, Flug is fly, uh, or flight. Boot is is this a trick question? Shoe? Boot? I don't know. Aktung? It sounds like a man sneezing like, Aktung! <laughs> but it's attention, I believe. Uh, Lieben? Read. Alive, sorry. But also it means like mentally retarded in some cases, but I don't know. I don't know what the difference is between those two things. Uh, so it's not alive. Maybe in this one it's like living? Live. Oh, it's just live, not alive. There's a difference. Verboten! Das is verboten, forbidden. Uh, I know way too much German just from offhand. Like I, it's been a long time since I've tried to learn any particular language off it. White is uh, white from that goddamn sausage in Bavaria. People still send me messages and stay like, oh no, the white sausage isn't so bad. Yes, it is. Have you tried it? You clearly haven't. Uh, Bahn means railway and Zug means train, but they're used like kind of interchangeably. Um, at least from my experience. So Zeit must be news, right? Maybe it's just paper. Maybe it's news? Maybe it's 
learn knowledge. I know it in context. Blitz is fast, but like Blitzkrieg, the the zoom fasts march. No, and Geist must be Geist the gist maybe. I mean, uh, boot. What is boot really a gent? Like, okay, you know, we got twenty out of twenty-four. I don't think I'm gonna get any more if we try any more. So let's give up. Time, okay. Lightning, ah, the lightning because it's fast. Ghost is Geist. So the time ghost. Ah, oh, the zeitgeist. I I can see that actually. And then boot is boat. So I got fluke surprise. Apparently that's rare. I guess I fly too much and Lufthansa. It comes up sometimes. Uh, Barnburg Railway. I mean, I guess I travel around Germany. And then, yeah, apparently everyone gets no thank you good. But yeah, we still get, we still beat 59% of test takers. We just need to know what ghost means. So I'm not good enough for the German badge, which means if you look at my profile, so fun fact, there's a public profile. You can now see all the countries and states that I visited as of recording this video. I think I get to add a new state to it very soon. Uh, Nevada, gonna be fun. Uh, but this is this is my map. It's jetpunk.com slash user slash toycat. You can see my levels, and uh, you can't see my German badge unless I go back and do that sometime. However, the question is, should I try for the French bag? No, I, I shouldn't. I don't know enough about France. Like, do I know the biggest cities? Random French words. Religions? There's, there's 18 religions in France, apparently. No, but I think I might be able to see the British, so maybe that'll be next. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I'll totally end up doing it. So yeah, make sure that you, uh, before watch, end, watching them this video, you uh, get yourself an Office 365 subscription, only £70.99 a year. Okay, my words aren't working. It's very late at night. Have a nice day, uh, and check out reddit.com slash r slash toycat if you want to discuss this video and any others. And, uh, I don't know, have a nice day. Second channel, don't care. Goodbye.